Hello YouTubers, this is Rob the Velo Kirigan. Today at the Dollar Tree, I got one of these uh, two original trading card packs. It says only one book, mixed sports edition. Alright, if you want to read that. I got it because I saw this uh, TriStar Hidden Treasure World Greatest Card Chase Hockey Edition. And I thought that was pretty cool. It was a 99 cents back then. I could see these packs, these actual TriStar packs being at the Dollar Tree nowadays if it was around. Let's get started. I'm going to open it right here. So... I don't know what the backpack is, so I'm going to check that out right now. Pretty nice day outside, by the way. And we got, um... Uh, what is this? Oh, um... I guess it's race? NASCAR? Yeah, I think so. Alright. Let's show the packaging on this. Let it focus. All right, let's see. It says, find the most valuable hockey set of all time. 1951-1952 Parkhurst Grand Treasure. Look for randomly inserted vintage cards, memorabilia cards, autographed cards, star rookie cards, and much more. Five licensed hockey cards per pack for a dollar back then. Ouch. Does it have any odds? I think so. So pause it if you need to. If it's focused. Let's see what it says. Let's see. Uh, uh, autograph memorabilia redemption. One in ten thousand. Autograph card by especially insert one in 84. Not bad. Uh, star player one in one. Other four in one. Alright, pretty cool. Anyways, guys, let's get started. And I'll be right back. Alright, guys, I'm back. We got Scott Stevens. Alright, that'd be funny to pull the auto, right? Duck. Let me know if you heard of any of these hockey players or if they're any good. Because, yeah. No, we did not pull the auto. <laughs> I, I'm, like I said, I'm not too big on um, hockey. But like I said, if I see it, I will open it. Um, let me know if there was a star player. Oh my god, there's a bee flying. Let me know if there was a star player. It says one in one packs. You know. That sucks that... Um, there is three of the same type and only three other like random cards. I mean it would have been cool if it was a little bit more mixed but I mean for five cards kind of sucked. Um, but I do like that you could get autographs uh, and stuff like that. That is pretty cool. One in 84 packs which isn't bad. But I wouldn't have paid a dollar. Like, well, I guess I did pay a dollar because this pack was the bonus, and I don't think it's really worth, you know, much. But anyways, guys, on my rating scale, I'm gonna give it a two out of five. Like I said, what made it not a one was because you could pull an autograph. I doubt, you know, I think there was one more dollar tray. I should have got it just, you know, for fun. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.